Hi, my name is Stephen Wong. I am the curator at the Los Angeles Municipal Art Gallery. Uh, and my first show that I curated here is called Here, uh, where uh, we bring 17 artists, LA-based artists, together, uh, trying to unpack the complexities and looking at the barriers and boundaries in and around Los Angeles, both uh, physical, uh, geographic barriers, but also uh, conceptual and imaginary barriers. I became interested in this idea of a show really focusing on Los Angeles early on. Growing up in Santa Monica, I really thought that the world uh, revolved around the west side. Uh, I rarely left uh, my neighborhood. Uh, the farthest east I'd go would be maybe La Brea. Uh, and so I was really interested in these uh, ideas of neighborhoods, uh, these ideas of, of um, identity to a place. Some of these ideas focus on one's inability to really uh, explore other neighborhoods and what are those barriers for people to meet other people, for people to traverse other neighborhoods. I became fascinated by the idea of the other side of the tracks, uh, going into a, a, an unknown area, uh, and how that oftentimes inhibits uh, many communities. So, my experience on the west side I don't think was unique. I think in Los Angeles there's oftentimes people can grow up in a neighborhood, can live in a neighborhood, and really never experience the totality of Los Angeles. And it's that complexity of Los Angeles uh, that I'm really interested in and what inhibits all Angelinos from really getting to know various different neighborhoods. And some of my initial interests in these barriers were the idea of constructing the other, or how we own, how we constructed our sense of identity to a particular neighborhood, uh, and then everyone outside of that neighborhood, how we otherize or how they become this outside idea, uh, primarily a conceptual idea. And so, it was interesting to identify some of those contradictions of the ability to build one's identity, build one's community, but oftentimes at the expense of otherizing or, or creating those conceptual, those mental boundaries that prevented us from uh, maybe engaging in different neighborhoods or exploring. Uh, it's, it stems from maybe, you know, when we were young, some of our parents would say, hey, don't, don't ride your bike past the, that one freeway or don't go into that neighborhood. Uh, oftentimes those ideas uh, can be problematic, uh, but also sometimes Sometimes they're, they're for safety. In the center of the gallery, when you first walk in, is an installation by Iris Hu. Uh, and this installation is an homage or a portrait to a Tongvin elder, Tongvin cultural ambassador, Julia. What Iris is really looking at is these boundaries and barriers uh, when it comes to knowledge, uh, when it comes to the history of knowing, uh, the history of the land that we are on. Iris's piece speaks to boundaries of passing of culture. Uh, dissemination of culture to the next generation. And Iris also fuses this perspective of her parents being immigrants from Taiwan and this idea of displacement, this idea of survival, and bridging those boundaries, those cultural boundaries oftentimes, between, let's say, the Tongan community uh, and their history, their history with Los Angeles land, but also her own personal history. One of the pieces that I really thought would be a must to be included in the show was Mario Ibarra Jr.'s Wilmington Good, shown a couple of years ago in Milan, Italy, uh, and had not been exhibited in Los Angeles. It speaks to his own neighborhood, Wilmington, and how Wilmington is oftentimes overlooked. And Wilmington is dependent on 
uh, a specific economy, an economy that is uh, attached to global trade because of the ports, but also oil refining. There is a large industry of oil refineries in and around Wilmington. There's an economic stimulus uh, that, is, that is created by these jobs, uh, but at the same time, you have these environmental hazards. You have a high cancer rate in, in the neighborhood of Wilmington. Uh, and so there's, there's these contradictions that Mario was exploring. Also included in his installation are these photographs that he's recreated from a, a long-standing community mural in, in Wilmington. And so what he's done is he's taken imagery uh, from that community mural, uh, discussing conflict, discussing labor, uh, uh, discussing some of those contradictions uh, all into a, a monumental uh, photographic uh, installation along with his paintings uh, and sculptures. One of the artists that we worked with is Henry Taylor, and one of his paintings that are in the show uh, is called Batman, and Batman is a portrait of one of the, the original founders of the Crips gang in Los Angeles. Henry's work brings another element to this idea of boundaries uh, in, in addressing uh, the idea of gang territory, gang boundaries, uh, and how those are fluid, uh, but that, how that also creates the sense of identity uh, and otherizing. There are a lot of conflict between the Bloods and the Crips, and how oftentimes those boundaries could be life and death uh, boundaries of being in the wrong neighborhood in the wrong time. Batman has since turned his life around, has, has worked and lives within the community that he used to gangbang in. And so it's interesting to see Henry discuss some of those ideas of, of gang territories, those boundaries, but also how time uh, can uh, potentially rehabilitate uh, or uh, the, the ability for for someone to turn their lives around.